Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to showcase an experiment that I did with Arana. So I actually really like playing Arana, even though you end up playing very similar builds. Arana started being on my radar when people realized that you can play elementals on Tavern 2 and basically scale really big molten rocks and party elementals. And it's actually a pretty fun gameplay because even though you're playing very few cards, it is uh, fun to constantly try to outpace your opponents. Now, with Quillbores coming into play, We've learned that Tavern 3, Arana playing Quill Boars, particularly with Banner Boar. Look, it's not the best, but it ain't, it ain't bad. It's pretty good. You can combine that maybe with some Elementals, maybe even with some Mechs, perhaps. There are some options there. Now, never before until you're about to see the game uh, coming up here in a moment, had I gone to high tavern tier Arana, uh, playing yeah, a combination of the builds I just mentioned, but still just going to high tavern tier and making it work that way. Because the main reason why you wouldn't do that is, well, Arana fills the board, but you get more minions the higher tavern tier you are. So if you're higher tavern tier, a hero power is worse than it normally is, right? Well, while that is true, still getting a few extra minions each roll seems to make a pretty big difference, even on the high tavern tiers. So it's certainly something worth exploring, and, well, this might be the start of it. Have a look, and see you guys next time. I feel like playing Arana. What's your strategy this time, partner? Need a drink? The battle is real. This hero on three is fun. I might try it, we'll see. Welcome back. How's it going? Actually I'm gonna go to three. Let's try it. We got a pretty weak board, uh, and this is where Synergosa beats everyone. So ain't winning this one, that's for sure. Greed? It's not that much greed. What's going to beat that? The battle is really raging out there. Okay, not bad. Boron was very funny. Uh, thanks, dude. That's totally what I was going for. Funny. Nailed it. Let you know if I need a practice partner for school. Alright, dude, I'll think about it. Thank you. Damn, this shit's nuts. Radiation and boron, both tied to nuclear field. Alright, dude. I like where you're going with this. Don't hit the three three, just don't hit the fuck. Hit the fuck! Okay, fine. If you hit the three three, is the only way I could lose. The battle is really raging out there. Very good card. That was the banner bore, but I think I might be a little bit late to that party. That's pretty sweet, I would say. Two left. Okay. Let's try it. This build is look very divine. High ass value board, yep. Oh 
It's pretty strong. Getting pretty good attacks though. Oh, never mind. Okay, uh, it ended okay at least. will be better scaling. Mithrax scales by itself, but my minion quality is pretty high. My memory's leaking. Yeah, yeah that can happen. Oh, this guy's undefeated? Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Though. like the idea of arm of the empire just need us some taunting looks like you can get a triple okay turn 8 no me Sounds like a real badass card. Must be really good. Why is my game so laggy? Because I'm because the game I'm playing is called Hearthstone. What do you mean why is my game so laggy? This guy just started scaling his shit. Lives barely. He lives. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Let the corruption spread. Sorry, chat, but it's bad.
thinking if I should get Light Fang, I don't know. Yeah. Agam has done zero scaling. Yeah, I haven't really gotten very many good uh, Blood Gem cards though. Wow. This guy's like all attack. Should get the pair of divine mechs. No, I only have one uh, gold grubber right now. I don't think it's worth it, given that. So bad. Is Kangor's really worth it? Uh, I'm counting it better than the Agam, so worth it? I don't know. But yeah, it's a little better, I think. Too bad. Three dead. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Looks like you can get a triple. That's what I would have picked. <laughs> so many shiny. Got him down too. Huge hits, I mean, yeah, but it didn't need to be that huge. Your minions really pulled I think I have enough attack. I like that. Just gonna run that as is. Light Fang? I'd buy a Light Fang. I'm looking for the Divine Shield Magnetic. That's a really big pull if I get one. I haven't gotten one. That is really bad.
pretty minimal damage though. The truth is he still doesn't have that much health. Just got a triple though. There's one. It is a bit tough though. I like the selfless as well. I guess what I can do is drop the extra refresh. Like put that here. Do that. It's just this is a bit vulnerable now. Sorry, guys. Okay. Can't swap those. If that hits his cleave first, it's a disaster. Jesus Christ, how did that cleave get a hundred in stats? Okay. That's really bad. Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay. The boat was OP. You guys were right. Outplayed, dude. Outplayed. His scaling was just so crazy. That was a good Arana. Like, Arana does not do well in late game. That was a good effort. But, uh, I couldn't outscale him. Like, <laughs> that's a good board. If he didn't have a Colossal Cleave, <clears throat> I could have given this Divine Shield as well. And then it would be like, Big Cobalt, Divine Shield, Poisonous, Amalgadon, Big Divine Shield, Taunt. Crazy big card, Divine Shield, Taunt. Yeah, that was a real battle of giants there. <laughs>